Welcome to my tutorial on how to make graphics with Blender. So a uh, little known thing, okay, it's not a little known thing, but uh, something that's not very commonly used in Blender is using it to render out a proportionally edited picture or layout. For instance, let's say that we want um, four squares on a screen with a equal border around them. So what you can do to get this effect in Blender without having to use Photoshop or something is, let's go ahead and turn on the shortcut so that people can see what shortcuts I'm using. Um, so anyways, you can go, we're in object mode right now, you can go into edit mode, either that or clicking tab, and you got a square here. So we'll line it up with this face. If you hit Control R, as you can see down here, you get this little yellow line when you're in edit mode. And if you hit, let's say you want four equal sections, well, you want a border two, so we'll say four times, so two by two, so two times five, we'll do ten divisions. Then we'll click down. Oops, did I mess that up? I think I messed that up. So uh, 10 divisions, and then we'll click, and it gives you this, and then you hit escape or right click. And then you do the same thing on the horizontal with 10. So basically what you do is you click control R, you hit one and zero to make 10, and it gives you this. So on your keyboard, and then right click or escape. And you can see here, we can adjust the number of cuts too, on this side. That way, it can be precise. But right now, um, you have vertices selected, so we're going to change that to plane selection, so we can do this. So the top left-hand corner here. And then we want four equal, so all you got to do is uh, hit shift and select. We, uh, I believe we selected it in or we cut it up into 10 pieces. So uh, that was multiplied by five, therefore we need to select four of them by four so that we give one extra layer for the border. So you do this for both sides. Um, obviously this is the easiest way to do that. It's just drag and drag select. Now you're gonna right click and click separate by selection. Okay. So now we have the selection, all right, hit tab, click this, so we're now selecting this object, they're two separate objects now, and then we go back into edit mode with this thing, or tab, either one works, and then what you want to do is A to select all, and then you do E to extrude, and give it a little bit so that lighting interacts in some way. Just drag your mouse along with E selected for extrude. And if you mess up, you can hit G and move it around like this, um, etc. Okay, now we go back by hitting tab and we are now in this mode. So what we want to do here is we want to select probably cycles or a Radiant Pro render if you have that. Either one, they're basically they're very similar uh, in terms of what we're going to be using it for. Um, and we'll select a shaded version, so you get this sort of lighting. And then for this one in uh, in cycles, if you're in cycles, it'll look something like that. So I'll just do cycles for now because uh, that's more common. And then we'll go into shading. We'll select world. And you see this little background thing? We're going to go Add Texture, Environment Texture, and then make that color, and then Open. There's a lot of places you can get HDRs. Um, I just have a bunch here. Uh, X, uh, EXRs are fine too. I'm just going to pick a random one. Okay. Give it a second, and we'll go back to modeling in here. 
there you go you can see this is the lighting but it's not going to matter because we're never going to see that part hit tab to get out of edit mode and now we're going to line up the camera so the camera's over here and this camera is at an angle we don't want that so we are on the object properties this little square here and location x zero actually x can be whatever i guess we'll do five y zero z zero enter and then rotation this needs to be 90 on the x and 90 on the z and then you hit this little button over here that says toggle camera view and bam we line up with it now that's not good enough so we need to change the resolution which is on the object properties tab so we'll change that to 1080 so that it's a square and then you can either move the camera into place or you can just select this so if you just select this and then hit s to scale you're going to scale it up so it fits okay now we click this object because this is the one we want to change we go to the property or the materials uh, properties and we're going to go ahead and duplicate that so it's new material and it duplicates that material and let's go ahead and grab a color so we'll change it to green i think a green blue make it slightly darker uh yeah and then we can change this color to i don't know full on green <laughs> might as well uh, and we'll go ahead and increase the darkness of it slightly. Now you can see that the lighting from the HDR makes this a bit more interesting than if it was no HDR. Um, so that's why I added that in. But if you don't want, well, you can just get rid of it. You don't have to do that step. Um, also, if you do have metallic and, say, low roughness, you get a bit of a reflection in the background, too. You can kind of see. In fact, we'll turn the roughness all the way down so you can actually see there's a reflection in the back now. So you can kind of mess around with it if you want. Um, obviously, not required. And then the last thing you can do is say render, render image. We'll go ahead. It's going to take a little bit of time because it cycles and cycles tends to be very slow. So this part I may fast forward and speed up. All right. So as you can see, it's completed. Um, we can go to image, save as and then just desktop untitled png that's fine um go ahead and open up desktop we can view it there you go and that is how you use blender to do graphic design uh, i hope this is helpful to some people Anyways, go ahead and uh, like the video or leave a comment if you want. Uh, you don't, definitely don't have to. Um, and I'll see you later.